Good morning, everyone. Outlaw Texan here, ready to go through the desert. Are you ready to watch me do it? It might be awful. It might be awesome. Let's go find out. Let's go melt. Kind of get this away from people who might be sleeping, though, eh? But if I could just forget every single thing before I go, shh. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're done being quiet. <laughs> Be quiet while I honk the horn. Oh God, I'm still waking up, everyone. I am still waking up. It's okay. We'll get there. On the road again. I forgot my water. Fuck. Okay, take two. I forgot my water, but uh, we got it now. We got everything. Let's go down and do some stuff on some bike. To be a bit candid, I, I gotta tell you, it is, the trip is starting to wear me down. Even not traveling that far and not doing a whole lot when I stop traveling for the day, it's, it's, it is starting to wear me down. Another little candid thing about this. I have panic attacks some mornings. This morning I had one. And it's like you wake up, no idea where I am for a split second. And then when I do realize how far away I am from my own home, you know, and then I get all existential about it. Like, what am I doing out here? What am I doing with my life? You know? You gotta push past that. Just just push on past that. Be like, I'm doing it because it's awesome. Okay, so enough about that. Let's talk about today's episode. In today's episode, I'm going to go through the second hottest place in North America. And this day is going to be... Uh, uh, it's a long way. But we'll figure it out. Before I get to the Mojave, the real part of it, basically in between Needles and Barstow, I'm going to take 66 here over to Highway 10. And Highway 10 through Oatman. It looks like it's a mountain pass through the desert. It looks really good. On the map, it looks fantastic. So we're gonna find out, because why the hell not? Yeah, I could get on I-40 and just go all the way to Barstow. I could go all the way to Palm Springs from here if I wanted, but I'm not gonna. Welcome and goodbye to Kingman, Arizona. That's cool. Oh yeah, uh, this looks like it's going to be a promising ride. As long as the road doesn't suck too bad. This kind of makes me want to watch the movie Cars, the first one. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's already good. I have two more days of travel and then I'm finally in Palm Springs a day before SCMM actually starts. That's pretty cool. I got a subscriber there at the hotel. The manager at the desk watches this kind of stuff. He was, says he watches Suburban Delinquent too and he's looking forward to seeing all the SCMM content. Good times, good times. Let's take the footbridge. Oh, that's a railway. Okay, never mind. That's a rail bridge. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. I guess this is still technically 66, but it's been renamed to 10. Well... Yeah, County Highway 10. The point is, this is going to be a good section of road. Okie dokie. Yeah, I gotta go through those mountains. So we're still on 66. We're getting our kicks! Ah! Getting our kicks! Ow! Through those 
those mountains, huh? donkeys it's like an alien planet up there all those sun bleached mountains with like no vegetation let's go up there yeah uh, look I'm a spaceman I look like a spaceman let's go up let's go up to the alien planet brap 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 we have fun we're having fun what was the name of that is uh, radiator springs right yeah we're in radiator springs <laughs> Good road. Good road. Wow. Bit of a dangerous road. Donkey! There's a donkey on that cliffside. Wow. Like, you would, uh. You, uh, you would really have to know this road well if you wanted to rip it. Because this is, uh. That's dangerous in spots like that. There's a lot of donkey shit on the road too, so that they're obviously crossing. Wow, man, this is fucking cool. Ah. Uh. Glad I went this way. Glad I went this way. If I was on the interstate, all I would be doing right now is complaining about being on the interstate. Instead, we're gonna take the long way around. Who built this road? Oh man, this is good. This is so technical and good. There's like a progressive turns, turns that narrow, turns that do both. Wow, 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 wow. Just brapping through the desert. People live out here, man. There's a donkey. Hey, donkey. <laughs> There's a lot of just free range burros. The burro. This road is just begging for sport bikes. All that shit in the road. There's a lot of hazards. This is a, uh, this is, this is fucking cool. <laughs> Woo, that is bright. That is bright. Oh my god. Up the mountain. Going up the mountain. Okay. Hey, anyone afraid of heights? Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly afraid of heights, but I am very well aware of my own mortality. Sit Greaves Pass. 3550 Again, you got a fear of heights? Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is good. So this is old 66 still and uh again whoever whoever made this road is a fucking madman. Bless him for it. Some sort of mine. Oh, that's like almost a right angle into it. Holy shit. <laughs> gold, what is it? Gold, gold broad mine. There's gold in them thar hills. There actually probably was quite a bit of gold in them thar hills. 
Man, people used to have to take this way. Well, we made it. Here's Oatman. I uh, think it's just a small mining town. Don't think you're going to find what you're looking for here. Well, you say that, dude. Dude, check this out. This is awesome, dude. Bunny! Okay, this was incredibly worth going this way. Move to Arizona and start a leather shop. You'd be out of business in a week's time. Here, let's uh, let's pull over for a second. Well, I want to have some vapes and uh, just kind of soak this in for a minute. Good break. This town is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. I was not expecting an old western mining town that like just decided to be like, well, no, let's just never change it and just turn it into kind of like a tourist area where you can go ride a donkey and pan for gold and stuff. That is cool. It is time to go though. I'm gonna see if I can cross the Colorado a different way than I-40. If I can just skip I-40 as much as possible today, I will. I don't care if it's gonna take me a lot longer. I don't care if it's gonna be hot outside. It's a cool mountain. Stacking rocks. People stacking rocks. Like, everywhere. Oatman Road, huh? Well, we're going this way. Yeah, just keep giving me shade. Just keep giving me that sweet, sweet shade. I'm gonna see if I can cross into California and by not getting on I-40. Yeah, I'm gonna try. We're gonna try, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure uh, County Road, it looks like County Road does go into California um, and crosses the Colorado. Now the sun's coming out and it's bright as shit. I'll take that cloud cover, man. I'll take that cloud cover all day. Please and thank you. It's pretty bumpy here. The pack just wants the whole seat. It just wants to take the whole seat. So, here you go. You can just have the whole fucking seat, I guess. Every single bump, the pack just shifts forward. So fuck it. I'll just stand up. That's great. Make me sweat. Make me get frustrated and sweat. Fun. Okay, fuck this. No. No, 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 no. Fixing it right now. I can't fucking stand this. Fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, let's try this one. Let's try the red one. You want to move forward now? I mean, I know the backpack will, but that's not the part that bothers me. It's the fact that the bottom part starts moving forward. Thank you, clouds. Let's see if that might hold. That's where it's supposed to be. I'm actually comfy like that. I can fit on the seat like that. Okay. So now I got a bungee wrapped around it, kind of pulling it back. And that should work. Now, so far, so good. Yeah, I've actually got like a lot of seat. I'm actually sitting on the bike like almost normal now. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Hey, it only took like 10,000 miles of travel for me to figure that one out. 
That is a lot different. Holy shit, why have I not been packing the bike like this the whole time? Because I'm an idiot. Because I'm an idiot. It takes me a while to learn shit. Well, I just learned. Yeah, that's a big fucking difference. More backcountry. Looks like we're about where I want to go. Now let's see if I can cross into California not on the highway. <laughs> Bullhead City. Oh no, wait, no, this is Golden Shores. Oh, smooth road. Oh, smooth. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What I tell you? There's that pointy mountain. Wow, we have gone a long way around to not go that far. Almost there. Woo! I'm excited. Back into California. Wee! There we go. Here we are. The Colorado. Welcome to California. Woo! Ah, welcome back, viewers. I went ahead and took some of I-40. Uh, it was it was actually pretty nice. It's really smooth. There's not too much. I forget that there's not a whole lot of traffic there, especially in the morning. Nobody wants to go through this fucking desert this way. But there's still cloud cover, and there's still US 66. So let's take it. So what does this sign say? Route 66 closed 12 miles ahead at Bolo Road. No through traffic east of Bolo. Now that means that way though, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, now I understand why, uh, when I was trying to plot my route out here, back home, Google Maps kept saying that this part of 66 east of here, like, it kept not doing it. It was like, nope, you gotta go around. You gotta go around. And I keep being like, why the fuck do I have to go around? Well, that sign clearly says that it's closed, so Joshua Tree... National Park is about an hour this way. That's abandoned. That's kind of weird. I guess it, it broke down maybe, but you know, like an abandoned vehicle kind of in the middle of the desert. Did those people get murdered? Is that a stolen car? We don't know the answers to these questions. I wish you were here, viewers. I wish you were all with me and we had a big old posse riding through the desert like a biker gang with our chains. Mmm, rain. A little bit. I'll take it. It is, uh, not gonna lie, it is it's warming up a little bit. It's a little warm out here. A little bit. Even with the clouds. It's still, uh, I don't know, last time I checked, I think it said 95. It's not so bad. Yep, it's closed. Well, cool. I mean, I, I we're back on 66 now. I already want to get off the bike again. Uh, yeah, I really do. I've already gone about 150 miles today. And I still have 80 more miles to go. Woof. I believe that's some gas up there though. Well, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. I'm just gonna get off. I gotta get off this bike. All right, everyone. Um, that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you guys in Barstow. I'm gonna go through the rest of the desert and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. It's a good day so far.